everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an ombre mani using the scrub method. Now the scrub method for ombre uh, requires a few stipulations in my opinion. You need to be working with solid powders as it doesn't really work with glitters. Um, you need to be scrubbing the darker or brighter color over the top of the lighter one. And you also want to try and be using a powder that has a lot of pigment in it because essentially what you're doing is we're going to be putting a coat of clear down and then we're going to take the bright pigmented powder and you're basically rubbing that pigment into that the clear coat. So it's kind of like you're letting that clear coat take in some of the pigment. So what I've done so far um, I've dipped all my nails in uh, double dipped scrum diddly umptious. It's a really great, it looks very orange here, but it's a really great corally orange, very bright color. And I have fully dipped all the nails, um, filed, buffed them smooth, shaped them the way I want them. And then I've actually, after that, I've topped them with a layer of uh, dip base. And the reason I do that is because there is activator in the lower layers. So the first layer of base you put on is going to dry really, really quickly. And the trick to doing this method properly is to have your base not dry fast. So that means if you want to do this, it really works best if you have a nice slow drying base. Double dipped has a great slow drying base. Um, triple vitamin, apple, triple D, and I'm sure there are a few others. Those are just the ones that I've used. So I have gone ahead and done a couple nails just because I'm not sure everybody wants to sit through the process for everything. So I'm going to have you sit through while I do the rest of these three. As you can see, it's kind of shiny because it has that dried layer of base coat on. So what I'm going to do is get my clear open. And get my poppy open so that I can work pretty quickly. I got this brush that I'm going to be using is just an eyeshadow brush. It's an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I like the kind of um, more flat surface there. It lends well to the ombre. And then also the, that the bristles are, are not super fluffy. Um, they're pretty sturdy. So that also helps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint a layer of my dip base a pretty good layer you don't want it to be too thin like I said you don't want this drying very quickly make sure you cover the nail nicely I'm going to dip into the clear top off the excess and I'm going to dip my eyeshadow brush in just at the end into the pigment and I'm going to start at the tip of the nail pressing it in just kind of pushing that pigment into the clear powder and slowly working my way up the nail a bit to add a little bit of pigment higher up as well but you want the majority of it to be at the end. I was also going to depend entirely on how high up you want your ombre to go. I'm trying to keep it end to middle. I don't want it to go too high up. So I'm just gently rubbing into mostly the end of the nail and then pushing up a little with that excess pigment that's on the nail and pressing it in a little higher up to finish that ombre. You also want to keep in mind that probably whichever powder you're going to be using here is going to end up lighter on the nail than it would be if you were dipping multiple coats of it. Like this color poppy typically turns out to be very, very, very neon red with just a, a hint of pink to it. But doing it this way with only one coat, it's going to be mostly pink and it's going to be a little bit lighter than it ends up with a full mani. All right, let's do the next nail. Do 
in the clear. Get that pigment. Anybody who has used Poppy knows that this is a very, very highly pigmented color. So it lends beautifully to this technique. I don't want too much pigment on the nail because I'm not trying to rub it in heavily towards the middle. So if it starts to build up a little bit too much in the middle, just tap that excess off. Okay, and Sometimes I feel like I want a little bit more brightness on the tip and you can always just kind of dip the tip in gently in and out in the pigment and that'll just make the tip a little bit brighter or darker, whatever color you'll be using. Okay, so this hand is done. Um, it's really not a horribly time-consuming process. It doesn't take a lot, especially when you have a nicely pigmented dip you're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and just activate these, and then I'm going to file um, just along the free edge to clean up the shape a little bit, and then I'm going to top coat. Let me cover. cover and close everything so nothing gets contaminated. Make sure there's no nail dust covered in pigmency. <laughs> and then we will do our top coat. Okay, and that's it. A pretty simple scrub ombre, scrub ombre method. Eating my words over here. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always find me and leave me messages on my Facebook page. But once again, thank you for joining me. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll leave links to all the products I use in the bottom of the video.